Hi everybody, welcome to X Hit with me, Rebecca Louise. Today's episode is all about legs, bums and tums. Those three areas that us girls are always trying to improve. We're going to start our legs, bums and tums exercises with our legs. Okay, so squats are always fantastic for our legs. It's also going to improve those glutes too. So we're going to do, take a wide, wide lunge to the side and bend down and just bring it back together. We're going to do 20 seconds on the right leg then 20 seconds on the left leg. Let's start, 20 seconds. We want to make sure it's really nice and wide and we're going to bend down. Really bend, pushing that bottom out. Nice and wide, bend down, bring it back together. Really strengthening those muscles and giving us that pert little bum that we want and those strong legs. One more. And let's swap over to the left side. As low as you can get, the better the results are going to be. Really push it down. We want to make sure we're also improving those inner thighs, keeping it nice and slim, toning up the whole time. You're halfway through. Keep breathing. Nice and low. Squeeze those glutes as you get back up and relax. Okay, then we're going to take it to the floor and start with the side plank. We're going to put your arm underneath your shoulder and we're just going to raise up. And you can put your arm up in the air like this. We're going to do 30 seconds on each side. So if you want to make it easier, you can just drop your legs. So I'm putting up here, just going to drop the knees down and you can hold it like this too. So if you're ready, let's take it for the first 30 seconds. Let's hold it up. That's going to be really good, strengthening our obliques and also our quad muscles. So the whole time, all these exercises are brilliant for those legs, the bums and the tum. We're going to be improving those three areas all the time. Now hold it up nice and straight. You don't want to make sure that you're dipping. Pull it up nice and tall. You've got less than 10 seconds to go. Really pull it into those abs. You can feel those obliques working. You just hold it for two more seconds and relax. Okay, you want to swap over to the other side. Again, the same amount of time, another 30 seconds. And let's hold it up into the air. If you need to, you can look up to the ceiling or look straight out. Focusing on a point can really help with your balance. If you need to, just drop those knees down and you can still really feel it in those oblique muscles. Let's see if we can just pull it up. We're over halfway there. Keep breathing, look up to your arm if you need to. It's gonna give you more of a stretch. Less than 10 seconds to go. Keep going guys, hold it. Keep holding it. And relax. Okay, we're gonna go into some inner thigh squats. It's gonna really be helping our glutes. So we're gonna put our legs a little bit closer together instead of doing the, the wide squat lunge. Probably just about this far apart between your feet, just put them together and we just want to really push out. This is going to be really good for all under here, our glutes and our quad muscles again. Those three certain areas that we're, we're going to really be improving. Now, we're going to do three sets of 20 seconds. So, in your own time, let's make sure that our technique's correct. And let's start, 20 seconds. Really pushing it down. Thinking about that you're going to sit on a chair if you need to, you can put a chair behind you and just tap it slightly and come back up again. Really holding in those abs nice and tight as you come back up. You don't want to sit down on the chair, you just want to touch it. Okay, let's have a little breather. Just walk those legs out. And it's going to go for another 20 seconds, keeping those legs nice and close together. Let's go for another 20. Push it out. Just think how good your body's gonna look if you just keep doing this over and over again. It's so worth the results. All you're doing is just exercising for 10, 15 minutes each day. And just that amount is gonna really improve your body. That's all you have to do. Give me one more of this 20 seconds and just relax. Okay, I'm gonna take it into one more 20 seconds. So, feet like this again. I'm just gonna really push that butt out. And let's go, last 20 seconds. You can do it, guys. The lower you get, the more of an impact you're going to have on that body that you're desiring. That's it. Really push it down. You can do it. You've got less than 10 seconds to go. Keep breathing. Give me one more. 
and relax. Okay, let's take it on the floor. If you have got a mat at home, it's going to really help protect your spine and your stomach. Or you can do it on your carpet, that's absolutely fine. So, next exercise. It's also going to be really strengthening those abdominal muscles and our glutes and our butt. Those three areas. The legs, bums and tums. Okay, it's called a Superman. And we're just going to, as if we're flying through the air, just pulling it up like this. Just hold it as high as you can. Even if you're here, that's fine. We're going to do two sets of 20 seconds. So I really want you to try and hold as, as hard as you can with me. Okay, let's start the first 20 seconds. Let's go. We just want to put it up. You're going to squeezing, squeeze in those glutes. You're going to really be working those quads too, as well as your stomach that's helping you pull up. And the higher you can go, the more of a strength you're going to exercise your body. Okay, you've got five seconds left of this set. Really put it up for the last five if you can and relax and just wriggle those legs out. Okay, one more 20 seconds on these supermans. Remember, if you're just struggling to get all the way at the top, as long as you're just lifting up the arms and legs a slight little bit off the ground, you're gonna be doing some work. Okay, let's do it for the last 20 seconds and let's go. Let's just hold it here, really nice and tight. Just wanna be thinking about that technique. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. We just want to really make sure that that end result is going to be successful. So let's try and pull it up for the last five seconds, even higher. That's it, you've got it, guys. And relax. Whew. Okay, so we're going to switch over and lie on our back. Now we're going to be doing bridges. Now this is really going to help our abdominals and our quad muscles too, those three key areas. Making sure that our back is flat on the floor, we don't want to arch it, otherwise we're not going to be doing any work for our abdominals and we're actually going to be uh, making our lower back have problems. So we're just going to do pulsing up to the ceiling. Up when you get up there, you want to really squeeze onto those glutes really tight. So we're going to do 30 seconds and we're going to do two sets. Okay, so let's push it for 30 seconds. Just as high as you can to the ceiling, making sure that your head is straight up. Keep going. That's it. Really squeezing it when you get to the top. Making sure that when you come back down, your back is nice and flat on the floor. You're just pushing it up to the ceiling. <sighs> Keep breathing too, because when you're on the floor, you don't want to get up and get dizzy. <laughs> okay, you've got five seconds left of this set, and then we just got another 30. Okay, hand relax. Let's just stretch out that stomach. <sighs> nice and tight. And let's take it for another last 30 of these bridges. Okay, and let's go. Push it really up high to the ceiling. If you wanna make it harder, you can not take your back all the way to the floor. You can just pulse it up. It's gonna make your quads and your glutes work even harder. So just really squeeze it. I can feel it in my legs already. You must be feeling it at home, guys. <sighs> That's it, really push it to the ceiling. You got less than 10 seconds to go. That's it, keep raising it up. And give me one more and relax. If you need to, just hug in your knees and just roll like this. It's just gonna loosen up those quad muscles. Okay, we're gonna stay on the floor. We're gonna be using the lower abdominals too. Because not only up here do we wanna sort of get a nice washboard abs and six pack, we also need to improve these muscles down here because that's gonna be really good for your core. Okay, so our legs go in the air. And we just want to think about almost bouncing a ball on the top of our feet. So we're just going to push the ball up. Okay, we're going to do 30 seconds. Are you ready? Let's go. Just pushing it up. We don't want to make sure that we're not rocking. We're just pushing to the ceiling. If you need to, use your hands to sort of grip to the floor so that you're not going to be swinging up and down. You just want to think about pushing it to the ceiling. You're going to be really using these abdominal muscles really down and low. It's also going to be helping those other areas that we're looking at today. That's it guys, you've got it. You've got it, you've got five seconds to go. Keep pushing it, keep breathing it. And give me one more. And relax. I'm going to be carrying on with our bums. We're also going to be using our legs too in this exercise and our tums. So they all kind of mix into each other. So we're going to do leg raises, making sure that our hands are underneath our shoulders and our back is nice and straight. We just want to take our leg and lift it, just like this. 
And when we get to the top, you're just gonna squeeze those glutes and bring it back down. And we're gonna do 30 seconds on each leg. So make sure your technique is right rather than just doing absolutely loads because that's not gonna help you. Okay, if you're ready, let's do 30 seconds starting with the right leg. Okay, let's take it away. And squeeze it as you get to the top. You also wanna make sure that your belly is pulled in so that we're working those abs too. Nice and high. Keeping that stomach pulled in to the spine. And keep breathing as you're doing it. You've got 10 seconds left of the right leg. Well done. You're almost there on the bums. It's gonna, it's gonna be worth it, I promise. Okay, let's switch over to that left leg and lift it up. We do again for another 30 seconds. We wanna make sure that our back is nice and straight. We don't wanna arch it, we don't wanna dip it, we just wanna keep it nice and straight. And squeeze those glutes as you get to, this, as you get to the top. You're doing a great job, guys. Just think about the success that this is gonna take on your body. It's all gonna be worth it in the end. Five seconds. Come on, keep going. Really push it, to, if you push it to the max. Give me one more. Hand relax. Okay, let's, let's concentrate on those abdominals while lying back on our back. Okay, these are leg extension crunches. So we can put our hands just either side of our hips, slight bend with the elbows. We're gonna straighten our legs and we're gonna bring it in. So straighten our legs and bring it in. So we really are squeezing those stomach muscles every time that we crunch. Okay, we're gonna do 40 seconds of these. If you're struggling, you need a breather, just take a moment and then start again. But come on guys, we can do 40 seconds, that's all it is. 40 seconds of your whole life. Let's do it. Ready? Go. Just think, you're never gonna get these 40 seconds back. So you may as well just push it as hard as you can and make sure that all the exercises you do, you're pushing it to the max. Keeping those legs really nice and straight as you extend. If you're finding that too difficult, you can just hold it. That's fine too. But more of a push out to the extended legs is gonna make sure that those abs are working even harder. Okay, you've got 10 seconds left. You should be able to feel it in those quads too. It's really pushing, I can really feel it guys. You must be able to too. Give me one more and relax. Okay, let's just rotate those shoulders round. Next one, we're gonna be more working on our obliques. So it's all the Russian twist. If you wanna put more emphasis on the obliques, you can use a dumbbell and use that as well from side to side. So again, we're gonna do 40 seconds and really push it guys. Okay, let's start, 40 seconds. Just really twist it over. If you want more of an impact, you can lift your legs up and twisting it from side to side. This is even good for your balance too. Just think guys, it's only 40 seconds and it's so gonna be worth it. If you do this every single day, you're gonna get that body that you want. And I promise I'll keep motivating you until you reach your goals. Keep going guys. Keep breathing. You've only got one exercise to do after this. Keep going. Let's push it. Five, two, one, and relax. Great job, guys. Just so stretch out that stomach. Okay, last one, leg raises. Now this is gonna be really working deep down in the abdominals. So not only just we want a six pack, but we want to make sure that our core is really, really strong. So just think about having a, a ball on top of your feet and we're just gonna be pushing it up to the ceiling. We don't wanna rock, but we want just a slight lift. And you're gonna really feel this deep down in those abdominals. Okay, so we're gonna do 40 seconds of these two. Let's blast through this last 40 seconds. Hold onto the ground if you need some support and let's take it for 40 seconds. Push it to the ceiling. Well done guys, you're almost there. This is your last exercise for this episode. If you're working hard, you're gonna see the results happening. That's it, keep pushing it. Just think about that ball on top of your feet. You can really feel it in your quads and in your butt too and in your tummy. So legs, bums and tums, 
is going to be working extra hard today. And they are those areas that we're always trying to improve. Okay, you've got less than 10 seconds. Let's just push it to the ceiling. Five. Keep going, keep breathing. Give me one more and relax. Great job. Stretch it out if you need to, guys. Because those abs are going to get really tight. We just want to make sure that we're lengthening our body. Once we've been contracting, we just need to extend them too. Okay, great job, everybody. Well done on today's workout. Hopefully, you've really improved those three areas that we're always trying to get better and make sure that our legs, bums, and tums are the things that we're striving for the best. Thanks for joining me, Rebecca Louise, here today on X Hit for legs, bums, and tums. Those three areas that we're always trying to work on. Now, remember, we're here five days a week, so you can subscribe to our channel. Leave me a comment, I'll get back to you. Any questions, I'm here for you. So, tell your friends, and I hope to see you again tomorrow.